Hey, good evening, crypto traders. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever in the world you are. Hope you're doing well. I'm looking at the Ethereum chart, specifically ETH USD. I trade this in dollars. And today we had a great day in the Ethereum world. This is our candle for today. We started somewhere around 3,800, ended up, and we're still not done on this times in this time zone. Uh, but so far, we're at 4150-ish area, about $300 on the day. So, congratulations to all you traders who are in Ethereum. You did very well today. Now, we are coming up on resistance. And I'm going to show you why this line is resistance in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to point out some other trend lines, because as we go back, I want you to look at these as well. These are going to provide uh, future resistance areas for us to look at. This top one specifically is notable resistance. But... This resistance here is not too shabby either. Very significant. Another reason why it's significant is if we take our high from May 12th and then put a trend line over here, take a look at this, guys. Our candle today is almost up into this area. And that's why we have just kind of stalled at the moment. I do not know how we're going to proceed. I imagine that at some point we hit our heads up here, maybe come down and test our support one more time before breaking through and up. If we do that, I'm going to show you why I think we will in just a second. Let me grab my arrow again. All right. I want to... Um, Let's see, how should I do this? Well, I was looking at this chart. Let me just say this. I was looking at this chart today and I came across something that I hadn't seen before. I mean, I don't look at this chart every day, but I am interested because I do trade altcoins that are based upon the Ethereum blockchain. And one thing I spotted that you guys may have already spotted if you did, let me know in the comments section below and let me know if you think this is significant enough to play out. Check this out. This trend line goes down here. Here is why we had the big pop today. We broke above this trend line and that was hugely significant. I'm going to tell you why it was significant. Get out my arcs. Some of you probably already know what I'm about to draw. Check this out. Cup. And beautiful handle. What is a cup and handle? Cup and handle is a pattern that is hugely bullish. Usually when we break out of these cup and handle patterns, the move thereafter is very significant to the upside. Now, since this is the daily chart and this was a rather extended uh, move to the downside and around up again and then down again for the handle and up again. We have just completed that cup and handle pattern, broken above it, and we are on our way. Now, one thing I like to do is to measure what our targets should be once we break out of these cup and handle patterns. To do that, I usually take a trend line and go from the neck down to the bottom of the handle. In this case, I'm gonna call, I mean the bottom of the cup, in this case, I'm going to call the bottom of the cup that purple trend line because that is very significant support. And we'll take this and we'll place it on the area where we break out. And that should give us a good target. Holy cow. Check that out. In fact, that is beautiful, uh, a beautiful target. 
And the reason why it's beautiful is because we come right into major significant resistance. All right, that being said, let's go back and take a look at where these trend lines come from because you all are probably wondering why I think they're so significant. I started to draw this middle, uh, well, the, the area of resistance we're up on right now, this trend line, I started to draw that in December of last year. And you can see along the way here, we hit it as support for a period of two weeks and we bounced up and off of that, came down and touched it again in March. We broke through it in the end of March, but our bottom trend line saved us. At that point, we broke up uh, after hitting it several times in April and that's when we made our new high and then we came down and I want to show you one more thing here if I can scroll over yeah all right so when we broke down through this see this candle right here on the 7th of September we were sitting at around 4,000 at the open the low for that day, that candle actually got down to $3,000. It lost 25%, $1,000 in one day when it broke through our support, further indicating and confirming that that is actually very significant support. And here we are again today up against that resistance. So previous support, of course, now becomes resistance all along the way before this area in June, it had provided significant support for us. Once we fell below, it now becomes resistance and we are up against that resistance. The other trend lines, the top trend lines and that skinny black trend line, skinny black trend line, I started somewhere here in January, January of this year, I started that. And that definitely is, I think I drew it thinner because I didn't think it was as significant and it might not be as significant, but it definitely is significant. We've hit it several times and we're not able to either go below it or above it, depending on whether it was acting as support or resistance. The tr top trend line has acted mostly as resistance. I drew that all the way back in November and it has acted as resistance here for about two months and then uh, coming up here, we did break through it, set our new high, came back below it, and check it out. When we fell below it, look how far we fell. We fell from 3,463 all the way down. I don't know where the wick on this goes. I can't see it very clearly, but the low is 1860. Oh my gosh. So that was over a thousand, you know, $1,200 in one day. That is a huge, huge, is that right? Oh, more than that. I can't math. Man, that is six, almost $1,700 in one day we fell once we fell below that, what was support and is now resistance. For that reason, I do not believe when we make our move upwards, we will not, I mean, if I was in this trade, there would be no way I would be holding past this uptrend line. So our target here is around $6,000. That's what I would mark it at. $6,000 would be my uh, topmost target. And that's an, that's an aggressive target. What that means is you're not going to hold 100% of your funds till you hit that if you're a trader. Now, I'm a swing trader. I, I, I trade in periods of weeks to months. And so it's going to take us a few weeks, a few months to hit that $6,000 target. And I would be taking profit definitely along the way here. First area I would take some profit is way down here. Not much, but I would take a little off the top. And if we dip, maybe I'll look for a re-entry. And if I re-enter at a decent price, then I can hold on through that resistance area. Then I take another, you know, I take another 
percentage, whatever percentage you have marked at around $5,000. I would take another percentage off here. At this point, I probably would only have 25% of my funds invested in Ethereum and the last 25% to get us to the $6,000 mark. That's the way I would do it. I'm not telling you, you, you guys what to do. You have your own strategies, but you're never in the wrong when you take profits along the way. Always capitalize when you can. Otherwise, they could turn into losses. All right, so that's the way I see this. I would appreciate your comments. Do you agree? Do you think we can hit the $6,000 mark before the end of the year? Does that sound viable? Does that sound plausible? Comment below. And as always, I appreciate your support. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it.